Well, ladies and gentlemen, some of you may not know that at one time Ron DeSantis was a high school teacher and his students are speaking out. They said he had very hostile behavior towards black people. Uh, he partied with the students and he taught very inaccurate lessons. Coming from him, I'm not surprised. See, he's the embodiment of why you should be homeschooling your children, for real. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis reportedly passively mean to a student because she was Black and taught inaccurate information regarding the U.S. Civil War when he taught high school early in his adulthood. The New York Times reported this week that Mr. DeSantis spent his first year after graduating from Yale University teaching at Darlington School, one of the Georgia's oldest and largest boarding schools. At least one student from his days teaching there, this is Danielle Pompey, claimed he treated her poorly and she believed it was because of the color of her skin. Mr. Ron DeSantis was mean to me and hostile towards me, she told the Times, not aggressively, but passively, because I was Black. She said once while he was teaching about the Civil War, she felt he was making arguments for the justification of slavery like in history class, he was trying to play devil's advocate that the South had good reasons to fight the war, to kill other people, over owning people, Black people, she said. He was trying to say it's not okay to own people, but they had property, businesses. A Times reporter spoke with colleagues and students who knew Mr. DeSantis during his year at the high school during, uh, you know, and this was um, during a 20-year Darlington class reunion. Mr. DeSantis was only 23 when he began teaching at the school in 2001 and had a mixed reputation among these who remembered him. She claimed he frequently reminded them that teaching was just a pit stop on his way to bigger and better things, like a career in politics. Why would you hire somebody that looked at a teaching job as a pit stop? That's the first question I would have, especially to the person that hired him. Wouldn't you want a teacher that was going to stick around, not one that came in the door talking about this as a pit stop. That's strange. Okay, anyway, that sounds like somebody did a poor job in the interview process to let somebody like that even get in the door. So while others said he was an enjoyable presence who spent time hanging out with the seniors, well, he was 23 years old he shouldn't have been hanging out with senior uh, high schoolers and he was an adult. No, that very inappropriate. Even if they were 18 and he was 23, it was still inappropriate because he was a teacher at the time. It wasn't the sentiment shared by everyone at the reunion. Gates Menace, who graduated in 2003, said the now Florida governor was a total jock who could be arrogant. He was definitely proud that he graduated Ivy and thought he was very special, she said. Miss Minus was in the same class as Miss Pompey and said she also recalled those arguments during the Civil War session of the class. She said she didn't believe that Mr. DeSantis was politically motivated, just that he was factually incorrect. She added that Mr. DeSantis claimed that every city in the South was burnt during the Civil War, but she knew her town of Savannah had not <laughs> been burnt down. 
She says she called him out on the inaccuracy. Another former student um, that did not want to be named for fear of retribution at his job said Mr. DeSantis' views on the Civil War were so well known that a parody video was made for the school's video yearbook. The Times reviewed the video, which include a snippet of a student intimidating Mr. DeSantis saying the Civil War was not about slavery. Well, you know right there, the person that's saying that is not going to give you good information. So it was about two competing economic systems. Well, back then it was called the slave economy. So when you say two economic system, one north, one south, but it was called the slave economy. So I don't know how you can get around that. So, however, other students were called Mr. DeSantis fondly. Yeah, you know, I'm sure the people he hung out and partied with will probably think he was a great guy. So Mr. DeSantis does not speak or frequently acknowledge the time he spent at the school. His year there does not appear in many of his official biographies. And there are a few accounts of him speaking at any length about his time at the high school. Other students recall Mr. DeSantis spending time at parties with seniors who lived in the town um, near the school. Those who spoke about hanging out with him at parties did so anonymously for fear of backlash. An 18 year old, I remember thinking, what are you doing here, dude? A former student said, yeah, cause that's very inappropriate. You know, we see all of the stories every single year that come out about teachers sleeping with students. And, you know, it is even if you feel the students are 18 years old, it's still inappropriate for a teacher to be out there partying with the students. You know, that's just my feeling on it. Very unprofessional. In addition to partying with students, other recalled him allegedly daring students to do stunts. One student who requested to be anonymous said Mr. DeSantis challenged a student to guzzle milk, which caused the student to vomit. A spokeswoman for Darlington declined to comment about Mr. DeSantis' time at the school. The Independent has reached out to Mr. DeSantis for comment. Well, eh, I'm not surprised. You know, not surprised. I mean, look, isn't he the one that wrote into law that CRT couldn't be taught? <laughs> so, so you're surprised that he was hostile towards Black students? I'm not. It, 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 you know, this is one leopard that will never change its spots. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.